Hey guys, this is Xavier with Gotta Be Mobile, and this is the new iPhone 6. It was just released today, and this is the 128 gigabyte model on Verizon. And iPhone 6 ships with iOS 8, which some people have downloaded onto their older devices, but it is the only uh, iOS version available on the iPhone 6. And naturally, some people are getting confused about apps, including the camera app. So I just want to give you a quick walkthrough. I've got uh, some of my kids' uh, toy cars here on the table to serve as models, so you're not looking at a white background. I just want to give you a quick tour of the new camera app, show you around, show you a few tricks that I use with iOS 8 on the iPhone. So when you launch a camera app, the first thing you'll see is this screen. It doesn't look that exciting, pretty familiar if you're an iOS 7 user. Uh, there are now four icons across the top. You can change the flash uh, by tapping here, and I generally leave it off. I really don't using, like using flash photography in general. You can also change the HDR setting. HDR stands for high dynamic range. And what this does is it actually takes a couple of different exposures of a scene so that the picture will include good detail of both highlights and shadow. You might want to think about uh, using this when you're taking a picture, say, from inside a house looking outside and you want to capture uh, somebody standing next to a window as well as the uh, beautiful flowers outside. Uh, but in day-to-day -day shooting, I generally don't like using it. It can create some sort of unnatural effects at times. So you can go ahead and switch this off as well. There's a new icon here in iOS 8 that wasn't available in iOS 7, and that's a timer app. Now this is great if you're gonna take selfies, if you wanna jump in a group shot. Um, just like old, old school cameras, this is just a feature that Apple should have in introduced a long time ago. By default, it is off. You can do a three second timer. Uh, by selecting that, you'll see the icon in yellow. And when you hit the shutter button down here, you'll get a little countdown timer. And another nice thing is by default, it will actually take a burst of photos. Now, why would you want to do that? Um, you don't want to run back and forth from behind the iPhone to in front of it every time just because you blinked. And that's a really nice feature also um, for taking pictures of kids that never seem to uh, do exactly what you wanna do in front, in front of them camera. So let's go ahead and turn that back off. The final one here up here is you are probably used to is just reverses it from the primary camera to what people refer to as a selfie camera up here. But we're not gonna take selfies right now. Um, but that's the basics. Now, another thing that I wanna show you is what's a little bit different in iOS is when you tap here, you can lock the exposure and you get this little sun symbol next to it. Um, and that's just a little different indicator. It basically does the same thing as what any camera worth its salt does, is that when you hold it down, you're telling the camera that you want to expose for that part of the picture frame. So in this case, I'm exposing for the hood of the car, uh, not the background, which is really bright white. If I expose for the background, which is really bright white, you'll see the rest of the scene gets underexposed. Uh, this is really, really useful if you're taking a picture uh, that is backlit, such so as your family at a beach, oftentimes you'll see beach photos where the people are completely almost invisible. They're just shadows while the background is really bright. So just by simply tapping where you want to focus the uh, exposure and then just holding it down long enough for it to do exposure lock, uh, it gets both done. So you, I can go ahead and move the camera over here maybe have the car off to the side, and when I take this photo, it's still going to be exposed for both the exposure and the focus. So I'll show you how to do that one more time, is now we're out of exposure lock and we're out of focus lock. If I hold it down and tap it once, it'll give me the proper exposure. Hold it down for an extended amount of time, you get both exposure and focus lock. So if I was gonna tell you one tip how to take better pictures with your iPhone, that would be it. Tap where you want uh, people to see uh, clearly and properly exposed. Now, 
Besides this upper part of the camera app being a little bit different and the exposure lock looking a little bit different, down here is a little bit different as well. This is a little carousel which switches you between types of cameras. <clears throat> By default, you have the traditional photo camera. If we scroll over once, you get square and one more, you get panoramic shots. So square shots are handy for Instagram and other uh, formats where you really want the square look. I prefer shooting in traditional uh, ratios and then cropping down if necessary. The other thing that you'll have when you scroll through here is your video modes. So now there's actually three video modes. Uh, the first one is your standard video. Nothing too exciting here. You can press uh, record, it records a video. Um, actually, let me show you one more thing. Some people uh, aren't aware of this, but while you're recording a video, you can actually press this little button down in the bottom corner, and that will take still, sh still shots while you're recording videos. So that's something that was in iOS 7, but is again here in iOS 8. I'm going to scroll over to slow mo, and slow mode, as you can see, is does what you expect. It slows down motion. So I'm going to go ahead and record, and then let this police vehicle go across. That was three seconds of video recorded at 240 frames per second. That's eight times faster than the standard 30 frames per second. So when I play it back, it can actually play back at a rate of one eighth speed without um, looking funny. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this a little bit. You can actually set the intro and the out of the, of the speed. So let's go ahead and move this. And then now when we watch this video, it's gonna be eight times slower than normal Vehicle and that's slow-mo. Now, if that's too slow for you, you can just tap this and down in the lower right corner and switch this to 120 frames per second, which is four times slower than standard. Now, here's a really cool little uh, feature, which is time-lapse. So time-lapse does exactly uh, what you might see in a lot of popular uh, TV shows, is it slows things down. It, it takes a frame, every once in a while, and it's generally used for things like uh, showing the sun rising, but instead of having to sit there for an hour to watch the sunrise in a movie or a TV show, it'll take a frame every few seconds, string them together, speed it up, and you get a really fast moving sunrise. Now, nothing's moving uh, at that kind of speed, so um, we'll have to simulate it, so what I can do here is I can Hit record and just move stuff around in the scene. Move the camera slightly. Let's try playing that back and see what happens. So again, it's only a couple seconds long, but you can see it just happens really quick. It's uh, not a feature you're gonna use every day, but if you're having a great uh, vacation, and you have a beach view, for example, you can just leave this uh, phone pointing towards the sunrise for several minutes. You'll get some nice motion. It might be a little bit more interesting than taking a still picture. So that's the basics of the camera app. Really nice uh, improvements compared to iOS 7. It will take some getting used to. You still have your filters and a lot of stuff that you may have become used to in uh, iOS 7, but you have a few enhancements, including the slow-mo and the uh, time-lapse features, you get the countdown timer, which is great for selfies, and that's a camera app. Uh, if you have any questions about the camera app, visit gottobemobile.com slash iPhone-6, and we have lots more tips about the new iPhone 6 and iOS 8. This is Xavier with Gotta Be Mobile, and this is the iOS 8 camera app.